So we have seen this cookie have been always here as long as if I keep the browser open. Right? So even after I close the, the tab, if I have another Chrome browser open, this cookie will always stay in there. So in this video, before we go any further, let's implement a sign out functionality so that we can get rid of this cookie when we click on the sign out button. If we come to our login page, we can see that we, we have the sign in async extension method. So this sign async help us to serialize the claims principle, right? The security context into a cookie. Similarly, there is a sign out async that can help us get rid of the cookie. So we can implement that in, in the logout page. Let's go ahead and create a logout page under the account folder, right? Razor page. Let's simply call it logout. And for this page, we don't need to have any UI. The only thing we would need is a onPost method. And of course, it's going to be onPost async uh, because we are going to use uh, sign out async. And then after that, we need to do a redirect. So we we'll need to implement this uh, very similar to the sign in method. We'll try to use the HTTP context, the sign out uh, async method. This is not in HTTP context. This is the extension method. We we'll do a control dot uh, to import the namespace from sp.net core dot authentication. And then here we'll have a authentication scheme name, which is our authentication scheme name. We will have to specify, right? Like I said before, it's better to use a constant uh, for this in case we have a typo. So, but for demonstration purpose, I'm not going to have it. So because we will need to do a redirect, that's why we need to have a wait there. So we're going to redirect to our index page, just like that. And that's it for our logout page, right? We don't need a UI. So who's going to call this? Who's going to trigger this on post, right? So someone has to post to this logout page. So for that, we will need to create a partial view. We're going to put it in the, the layout page where we have this header, right? We're going to put it somewhere here for us to click the logout button. So uh, we can definitely just code it directly in the layout page, but we can also create a partial view. So I like to create a partial view for that. And for creating a partial view, it's uh, really, really simple. It's very similar to it's almost the same as uh, in FVC. So instead of using this add razor page thing, which currently doesn't have a really good support for creating partial view, I'm just going to copy this uh, validation script partial. I'm going to paste it in here and then I'm going to change the, the name to be underscore login. Uh, let's call it login status partial. Okay. And within here, of course, we don't need this. We'll need just some razor syntax here. Uh, we're going to say if the user, right, if the user dot identity, uh, if the default identity is authenticated, right, if it's not a anonymous one, then we're going to do something. Otherwise, if it is anonymous uh, identity, then we'll do something else. Let's implement the simplest case, which is the anonymous one. So we're going to have a link, which just looks like a, uh, a link button. And uh, we're going to use uh, btn-link class. And, uh, and then we're going to use tag helper to link to a page, which is inside our account folder. And, and it is the login page, of course. And the label is login. And then here, when the user is authenticated, we need to allow user to click on a button to log out, right? So for that, we need to have a form, right? And the form behavior is post, uh, meaning, you know, clicking on the submit button in the form will post to a certain page. And this form is going to use the inline class, and it's going to be linked to the log logout page right under the account folder so and we're going to display a welcome message first we are welcoming the user to the system uh, use the default identity uh, and then 
we're gonna have a button and the type is going to be a submit button and the class uh, we're gonna have a little bit margin here and same thing we're gonna use a link button and it's a logout as the label uh, when user click on this button uh, this is going to trigger http post and then this is going to be post to the logout page which we have uh, just implemented here so when this uh, page handler receives the http post request uh, it's going to simply sign out which means it's going to kill the cookie and then redirect to the index page. Now we have created this partial view. We have to use it in the layout and we're going to use it right here. So first of all, we'll have a div to wrap around it and we're going to use a class so that it's going to have, uh, it's going to align to the right. We're going to use margin right. Um, and then we're going to use the partial, the partial tag helper. Uh, to use our login status partial view here. Okay, so we're all set and I'm doing control F5. Okay, so we have a login button here, but because the index page is already protected, so we're seeing the login page anyways. We don't have to click on the login button. And then I'm gonna use the password and now we're logged in, right? And if we go to our privacy page, go to our home page, uh, this is their, they're all working correctly. And then we are going to click on the logout button while we are in the privacy page, click on the logout button, All right? So this, we expect us to kill the cookie, All right? So let's bring up the cookie. I can see the cookie right here. We expect this to kill the cookie and also redirect us to the index page. Uh, but because the index page is protected, it will automatically redirect us again to the uh, login page. All right, so this is what happened. You can see that the cookie is deleted and because the cookie is not present anymore when accessing any page, the authentication middleware will not be able to pick up the security context. So it will have a anonymous identity, which on any of our pages except a privacy page are not allowed. Right? So that's the login status partial view and logout functionality implemented. In later videos, we're going to talk more about the lifetime of a cookie and how is it correlated with the browser session. But next video, we'll continue with authorization first.